In today's topic, I will show you the overview of Ansible copy module. This is the part one. The copy module copies a file from a local or remote machine to a location on the remote machine. Use the fetch module to copy files from remote location to the local box. If you need variable interpolation in copied files, use the template module. So now I will show you the practical example of Ansible copy module. So this tutorial will cover the Ansible copy module. I will show you copy file and directory from your local host to remote host and how to set ownership and permission on your copied file. So now let's jump into see some practical work. First thing we are going to do is to copy a file from local host to remote host. So now I'm going to create a new task in playbook. And now I'm going to give name copy file to remote host. So now we need to create a file which we're going to copy over. So by default Ansible looks for a file directory to search for file when we use the copy module. So now I am going to create a new file directory in our Ansible directory. MKDIR files. And now inside the files, I'm going to create new file. Test files and uh, I'm providing here little string. Hello world. Right and quit. So now I'm going to my playbook and uh, here we'll create copy module and inside the copy module we will define the source directory. The source directory is test underscore files. And the destination file is I'm defining here home slash test underscore files. Now the playbook has been created. Now copy this content and uh, create a file here vim play1.yml and insert the content here and write and quit. Now let's run the playbook using Ansible hyphen playbook and the playbook name is play1.yml. It's gathering the facts. Now playbook has been run. Now it should copy the single text file to our host location. So now let's come to our CentOS here. If I do here ls hyphen la, you will see here your hello.txt file is here. If we open hello.txt file and hello.world. So now your core file has been copied to your host location. So if in the case, if we are going to copy multiple files from our local server to remote host, then what should I do? Since we are using to, since we are copying to multiple files, so you have to use the loop here. So I'm moving my playbook file, play1.ml. So since we are using loop, so we have to define loop here. And we have to define the loop file here. I'm going to create WNQ and now I'm going to create a file here, CD files inside my files directory because uh, by default, Ansible search for the files directory to search for a file. I'm creating another file just like test1.ml, sorry, test1.txt. So I'm giving a string here, hello to world and write and quit. I came back to my Ansible directory and now I will go to my playbook vim play1.ml and inside the loop I will define my both file here 
just like uh, test underscore files dot yml and another file is test one dot txt since we are using the loop so we have to define source and destination as the loop variable i will define the item variable here item and there's the destination file also i will define item variable So now file have been completed. So now I'm going to edit my playbook file. Under the loop, I will define the, my both files, test files and test1.txt. Right and quit. Now run playbook, ansible hyphen playbook and play1.ml. And now it's gathering facts. Now you can see the changes have been done by one. If I move to my CentOS file directory, if I do ls-la here, you will see the test1.txt and test files are now here, copied to a remote location using that loop method. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial, please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.